I think that this ordinance allows for LMPD to have the flexibility that it needs to be able to do its job. Louisville Metro Council's Public Safety Committee hopes a proposed ordinance will limit use of force within LMPD. The committee led a discussion Wednesday with LMPD Major Paul Humphrey and Michael Aldridge from the ACLU of Kentucky. We think um, too often uh, in the heat of the moment things become escalated instead of de-escalated. Um, use of a chemical agents escalates a situation. We've uh, taken a very, very hands-off approach to, to, uh, to some of these situations, but we're not going to put officers out there in situations where they're going to be placed in danger. And the fact of the matter is that when officers are placed in danger, it creates danger for everyone else. The ordinance revolves around the 8 Can't Wait campaign, which is a campaign to bring change to the nation's police departments. Some of the changes include banning chokeholds and banning officers from shooting at moving vehicles unless deadly force is being used against the officer or someone else. <laughs> The Public Safety Committee took it a step further, adding that officers cannot use chemical agents, including tear gas, unless it's reasonable to believe individuals are acting with an intent to cause serious physical harm. We've had over $2 million of reported property damage. Our ability to protect this city is directly related to our ability to use chemical agents on crowds that have become unlawful, dangerous, and destructive to property. And that's why Councilman Brandon Cohn says this is an ongoing discussion. You don't want to ban someone from using um, regular pepper spray in a situation where that's reasonable and thereby force somebody to use another weapon that could cause more damage or be more of a problem. Andrew Chernoff, WLKY News. The next public safety meeting is in two weeks.